Welcome everybody, I'm G Paul Silvermane, and I'm back with part two or day two of my series, uh, having fun playing Red Shadow Legends in 2021. Uh, I just want to kind of give you an update, show you kind of what I did through my second day of the game. And uh, Red Dots, yeah, yeah. We, you know how I feel about Red Dots. I am going to upgrade this and kind of see what it does. If it makes it to where it just continually upgrades him until he's maxed, it would be worth it, in my opinion. Because he's level one while I'm not playing. That'd be awesome. But if I have to get on here and click every level like I'm doing now, it's just not worth 350 rubies, um, in my opinion. It will. I'm sure it'll level him quicker. Let's go ahead and just do that test here real quick. Um, boom. Oh, man. 1,000 experience an hour and 3,500 an hour. Placing this slot will gain XP faster. Depends on a champion's rank. Okay. So it is going to level him quicker, like I said. But if it's not going to... That's two out of three. Let's see what it does for the next one. Upgrade this slot. It's, you know, it's, it's about 1,000 more per hour, roughly. We're going to go ahead and do it. 750 gems. So... Yes, I'm, I'm probably going to have to click on it, which is terrible. Um, yeah, so in my opinion, I would not recommend spending your rubies here and just, unless you have a ton of them to spend, go ahead. It's going to help you in tournaments and stuff. Uh, no matter how little, it's still helping. Um, you can see up here, 4,100 XP per hour. And I'm not sure how much he needs, but apparently he needs double that, roughly. Um, let's go ahead and unlock the second slot. Boom. Select a champion. Yes, I will, Bob. Go ahead and finish you off. Confirm. And now the reason I am leveling these guys, they're not... Maybe he's not the best, but it's given me... He's a blue. He's a rank three. And when you're doing this level up tournament, this event over here, rather, where is it? Champion training. I've made pretty decent progress. But the more stars they have when you're leveling them, each level he gets, he gets two points because he's a three star. I guess the blue doesn't help. The rarity does not help. But the rank upgrade, when I take him from three to four, that's going to be pretty. But I don't know that I'm even going to take him that way. I'm just going for the two points instead of the one. Leveling a two star in that would be half the point. So I'm leveling him just to maximize points during this event. And then he's going to go into the vault and maybe be used for a fusion later. If not, he'll be food. Um, especially if he's no good. I was having problems earlier leveling up gear. And it gave me this 300 and this bag of coins for arena. But I was leveling up my gear and it was saying successful, successful. And I was eating my silver, right? But there was no level being added. Well, once they fixed it, apparently I got it to level 11. <laughs> but I didn't know that. So it was glitched out after the update. Um, it's since been fixed and I've been rewarded. 300 energies quite awesome i'm gonna go ahead and grab my free stuff free is always good this is the offer i was talking about that i bought but it was only four items which totaled about 95 dollars um 30 25 25 15 and it gave me 175 dollars worth of books legendary tomes and epic tomes for 15 dollars at this last one this one's five and the fifth one here is just wow that is an awesome awesome offer all these are awesome but if they're going to charge me 10 bucks for 850 and five imagine what this one's going to cost me by their ratio 50 bucks for this right here would be my guess and i don't want to risk it um if it was 10 10 10 10 3 that's 43 dollars i'd buy it in a heartbeat um i am limited on funds so Here's the free gift you get every other day, I believe. I will enjoy that gift. Uh, creators. <laughs> um, I'm up to level 30. My power fell back a little bit. I was uh, in the tavern here and upgrading him to 6. I ate some of my 4s and 5s. and I used chickens and whatnot too, but increasing these other levels on these champions. Um, my war maiden getting her to 4. I ate some good 3s. And my power level dropped, which ain't terrible. But my Kel, 
my main. He's my campaign farmer, my clan boss killer, my arena champ. He's the leader of all, and he's doing well in all aspects, as um, described. Everybody said he. That's why people recommend picking him. He does good in everything, and his poison. That's his main. For clan boss, poison is the way to get the most points. Placing poisons because it hits for a percentage of your uh, clan boss's health, so it does big damage, right? Um, but that's kind of where my kills at. My war maidens up to four. I have been increasing her skills as I get more war maidens, um, using them like books. But I won't use books on her. Um, not that I don't value her. This is an event I've never seen one of these. Of course, I haven't played a lot, but. I did the 15 points uh, earlier before reset, and it just reset on me. But you can get 15 points a day, uh, a day for four days, and you can maximize all this. You get all this over four days. It's pretty much giving us this loot for doing what we're going to do anyway. Now, I'm not upgrading gear currently, even though there's some I want to. I'm just going to do it daily. Upgrade a four, the one I get from the ninja event the first week. Take that level four lifesteal gear. And push it up to 12, probably. You know what I mean? Because you're going to get one, three, and then boom, I'd be over the 15. But you can only get 15 a day on this event. Um, great event. That's, I mean, there's nothing bad about that event. Um, dungeon divers, I'm moving up. These are for crafting in your forge. And I don't know how valuable each one is, so I can't set a value on it. But. I'm grinding campaign, I'm grinding dungeons, I'm new to the game, I'm level on champions to rank up other champions, and these will come in handy later. I have a ladybug, Alex, on my finger. Oh, it's trying to attack me. It's on the TV now. Oh, don't kill her. Don't kill her. Take her and let her go or something. It's on me. Oh, she attacked me. All right. No. So attack of the ladybug. And my son killed her. That's got to be illegal in at least, what, 12 states? Um, don't do that at home. Uh, these chickens are going to be awesome. And I can imagine I'm going to get to them. Gems, shards, yes, this is all good. I, I'm hoping to actually max this event. I'm really going to have to get on it, though, because the crunch is coming. Crunch is real. Time crunch, guys. Champion training event. I'm doing all right. I'm going to get that. I'm plugging along and... I don't know where I'll end up, but I imagine right around 35. Between those two, probably is where I'll quit. Or end up, rather. Um, did you get all three of those done? Mm -hmm. My son's playing Marvel Fuse Revolution for me. And uh, he's doing the blitzes currently. So you want to hit exit. And we'll go up to the next one. If you do play Marvel Fuse Revolution, tip, do all your blitzes. Because the higher ones, I always get three or four star badges. And that... Kingpin one that I do last, I always get a five star for some reason. It's really insane how that works. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. go ahead and fight Ultron three times, buddy. Um, I unlocked the forge. Perception gear, best gear, amazing. Check it out. I gotta do more research before I'm gonna go crafting anything. Uh, and what I've learned, the pieces you do craft, it costs ten grand in materials. These hammers I was telling you about. Uh. But the pieces you get sell for, uh, on average, 100,000 silver, probably, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. I haven't tried it. That's just a rough estimate. Sparring pit, as you just seen, don't invest in it. It's complete and utter no bueno. They need to rework that and how it works um, so people could better utilize it. It was a waste of gems, in my opinion. Uh, crystals. Oh, I might be able to open a 10 spot come this weekend. I was reading an update though. It's going to be only boosted rates uh, on these sacred charts. So, and it'll be 10 times chance of getting two specific characters this weekend. Whether or not that's true or not, I don't know because these updates often give me, like this one's from March 16th. Ha! Huh, where'd everything in between these two go? I don't know. All right. So it's kind of out of order there. They need to fix that as well. Missions. I'm stuck. Don't just upgrade gear willy-nilly. Uh, try to follow your missions, like I said. And this is where I'm 65 out of 469. I kind of got past the Great Hall one and the Ascension one. And now you can kind of see what we're going into. 
equip two champions again, level 12. And these ones kind of hurt as well because attack percentage on boots is okay. It's the second best in slot. Gauntlets, second best in slot because you want crit rate and speed. Chest plate attack percentage would be great for attack type champions, in my opinion. Um, you usually want whatever it is. If they need HP and their skills are based around that, or defense percentage. If they're a defense champion and their their damage output is based on defense. That's what you want for chess. So you got to spend silver to equip these pieces to champions. Because it's level 12 plus. So you're going to have good, decent gear with that, right? Um, it's very difficult to do. Um, you can see as they get harder. Like, this is insane. You can, that only tells you how hard Spider Den is going to be. But I got most of those done. I'm just stuck here. Um, and that's kind of at the point when you can do missions as you can do them. I, w I don't know that I'd let it guide me anymore. Tournament, I got second. And I went pretty hard on it. I did have... I've been having bad tooth pain in, on one of my teeth here. Kept me up all night last night, so I slept all day today. Um, I got second. And I think these are valued at about 90 rubies a piece. Because you can get a pack of 10, I think, in the shop for 900 rubies. So I'd say about 90 a piece. That's To me, though, it's about equal value. And this guy... He went hard. I spent some money and played. He must have spent a lot of money and a lot of time. Uh, I'm happy with my reward. Obviously, a win would have been cool. But, you know, the main thing was the speed gear up here. Four pieces of speed gear, five star. Um, give you a little update on my arena. Not doing too bad. 1247. I'm in bronze four. Working towards silver one, which I see being very realistic once I upgrade my War Maiden and such, and I get my ninja going. Uh, doing pretty decent. Uh, once you're done with those attacks, yeah. He wants to go play ESO. Um, we'll go back into operations, buddy. Um, dungeons, i just been doing as I need. I had to do a lot, decent amount of this and a decent amount of this for War Maiden and Kel. Uh, campaign, I am on to Brutal. As you can see, normal, I only got 129 stars out of 252. And I'm going to go back and clear that later. And hard, I got 210 out of 252. And that's only because I maxed my Kel during day two. And I was able to take him and just literally blow through these by himself on a lot. Where it's three starred. But on the ones that aren't, I actually had to use multiple players. Um... Yeah, I lost experience on food characters, but getting those three stars and never having to come back to this again was wonderful for me. So I used Kel on Brutal here, and he literally blew through these by himself. And this is where I got stuck with him. Um, right here. And that's because it's red, red, red. His opposite affinity. So if I had a red main, it would shred that, but it would struggle on something like this. Uh... So I'll throw in two characters and two way my through all this. My war priest or my war maiden and my kill and keep going. I would ideally, this is where you're going to spend the majority of your time. 12-3 shields, I think is what it is, 12-3. I haven't got to that point, but I hear, yeah, shields are on stage three. The reason you want to do that is because your shield is worth more than any of these gear. So when you get a shield, it's way more silver to sell it. Um, the shield itself is always going to be a defense. And then your substats you can pick through. Shield will probably be the easiest thing for you to ever get that you want. Because you're going to have so many of them. Uh, the experience on these just is not worth the silver loss from not having a shield. Um, it's quite significant. So you always want to do 12-3 for the shield and the experience. The best experience possible. Uh, obviously you'll get more in nightmare mode if you ever get to it. 12 boss fight would probably be the most XP, but it costs you 16 energy, whereas Brutal, these are only costing you 8 XP, or 8 energy, rather. So you're hitting it twice, you're getting 2 shields, mass silver, getting twice the experience, and then you're going to spend 16 once on the 12-3 of Nightmare, and you're getting 1 shield, maybe, and some XP, and you're out 16 energy. So you're you're just, you're this is the min-max, it's how people do it. 12-3. Can't go wrong. That's how, where you farm up your XP with like three little characters you don't use. You just want to rank up other characters with and your main. Mine being Kel. Um, 
faction wars i keep hitting clan boss is huge my advice on this is once you can clear 1.2 million only hit it once i'm doing that easy 1.4 and then i move on to this guy and i'm what am i doing that's 1.4 here so on easy i'm 2.2 2.1 so i easily cleared that with one hit um then i take my next key and i go down here and i'm trying to get to 3.7 million to get the best drop against that well as you can see i can't quite do that yet but i'm solely relying on him uh, life steal gear would be awesome this for sustain for some of these people but i don't want to build it just for clan boss i want to build these more for all around i think i haven't really thought that far into it i really want to get to doom tower i would love to see what it's about only good things i've heard about it or you know i haven't heard anything bad um that's kind of the update i've got for you guys um i'm just doing my dailies building leveling getting stronger uh my focus now is going to be continuing to work on war maiden and getting through brutal so i'm set up to be where i need to be uh i want to get to brutal 12 3 as soon as possible and that way i'm getting the best experience for my per energy uh that is my focus again sparring pit no bueno i don't want to have to get on here even more often to click him so it starts leveling him again uh i made that mistake i hope you don't uh it's a good it's good for knowledge good good experience there um yeah i want to say uh wrap this up and say thank you for checking out this video if you like to go ahead and hit a thumbs up you know it helps support the channel helps me a lot more than anything hit that subscribe i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible so i can uh become a youtube partner and do this full time uh by the grace of God, I've been allowed to try this and see how I do. I mean, it's a great opportunity. I love gaming, and if you enjoy the videos, that's that's a win-win in my opinion. Um, thank you. Uh, have a great night, and we'll see you in the next one. All right.